um, sort of oversee the uh, three MSCs in uh, pharmaceutical sciences. And these are pharmaceutical technology, uh, biopharmaceuticals, and pharmaceutical analysis and quality control. And all of these sort of suites of uh, MSCs are around um, the science of taking the, the drug molecule and making it into a medicine. So in these kind of uh, programs, we're looking at uh, formulation, uh, making a tablet, uh, making a suspension, or we're looking at analyzing those and looking at the stability, and also looking at their fate, also looking at um, the concentration of the drug in metabolites and that kind of thing, and that's where the analysis part comes in. But in terms of the biopharmaceuticals, we're also interested in uh, looking at formulating larger molecules, peptides, proteins, and that kind of thing. It's primarily for people that want to take up a role in analysis in the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, also, those that want to conduct uh, further research, possibly towards a PhD, again around sort of uh, analysis topics and that kind of thing. We teach you the sort of uh, a, a sort of a basic kit of uh, techniques and approaches that will allow you to understand how medicines are made, how we monitor their stability, uh, how we look at their their purity, and also how we uh, identify and characterise those molecules that are within those uh, medicines. After Christmas we specialise and we have um, two uh, modules. We have a, a module that's focused on separation science, uh, quality control and reg regulatory uh, issues. Uh, you do a lot of work there in looking at the sort of state of the art in chromatography. Uh, we have a number of excellent uh, academics and you'll also be working with people that uh, are based in our Waters sponsored laboratory and they're a big manufacturer of, of uh, sort of separation science and HPLC uh, equipment. The other module you'll do is more on advanced spectroscopy uh, and advanced analytical methods and there we're looking at also at the quality control of um, uh, the, the molecules that are going into the, uh, the, the medicine. We want to know whether it's the right molecule, we want to know whether there's impurities in there, um, we want to know uh, something about the structure of the molecule as well and so we have a number uh, of academics that are involved in developing um, uh, uh, specific spect spectroscopic techniques. We also get a number of the regula regulators to come in to talk through some of the issues and also to help you and introduce you to some of the regulatory uh, processes and documentation. A number of our graduates uh, are employed uh, in, in regulatory authorities and want to know, is it the right drug? Is it the drug on the label? And is that drug particularly stable? The academics involved with the teaching of pharmaceutical analysis and quality control offer research projects. The students enrolled in the PAQC get a chance to select from quite a big bank of those uh, titles and uh, quite a few of them go on to write research papers based on their work. So the sort of things you're equipped with at the end, you'll have a lot of technical knowledge, uh, a lot of theoretical background, but also the ability to, p to apply uh, that uh, knowledge and learning in a sort of research uh, environment. The graduates that um, come and study with us on the PAQC, all of them have uh, sort of a chemistry background. But that chemistry back background can be quite diverse. So we have lots of students that come from a sort of Chinese herbal background, right through to people that have done things like food science, as well as standard people with chemistry degrees. And also we're getting lots of uh, pharmacists that want to come back in, do more research, and perhaps work for uh, the large uh, pharmaceutical companies in, in more of an analytical role, and possibly in the management of sort of other analysts as well. So it's quite a diverse background, but I think the link between all of our sort of uh, students attending the course is sort of a, a, a good chemistry um, sort of uh, knowledge and experience. The biopharmaceutical MSc course was designed a few years ago to address the needs of industry. It deals with the discovery and the development of peptides, proteins and nucleic acids and antibodies as, as drug molecules. In the past we've really been looking at small molecules and the pipeline for small molecules is now really reduced. We may be getting four or five molecules coming out every year. 
but the biopharmaceuticals area is really expanding. This course addresses that need. Because the course covers a wide range of topics, we actually take in students with varied backgrounds. On the course, we have industrial speakers who come and actually lecture on parts of the course, and those links are really important. 20% of one of the modules is actually given by people from industry, and that forms a good link, and some students can go and work with them in the future. And we also have a six-month research project where the students actually work with an academic on a research project and hopefully maybe get some publications out of it. The Biopharmaceuticals MSc program gives students to work in the biopharmaceutical industry and a lot of them go in and work in industry in the US, in Europe, and some of them also go on and do PhDs. So they have a good base of training which industry really wants. This is a unique opportunity for students to study on the biopharmaceutical course in the heart of London. I worked for nine months in a quality control department in a pharmaceutical industry in Greece and uh, I wanted to learn more about uh, the science and uh, how to work in the industry. So this course is really given uh, with that opportunity. I believe King has a very high reputation worldwide and then when I look into the course details and actually um, branch down what are the um, modules um, covered and it's actually quite relevant. It's an MSc that's really involved um, with taking the, uh, the drug material, uh, the white powder usually, and uh, making that into a, a medicine. You do two core uh, modules that are, all, that are all about learning about the numerical and analytical uh, techniques and the other ones concerned with um, the formulation, drug deposition and a, li a little bit on pharmacokinetics as well. And then after Christmas what, you, what, what you'll then do is specialised and you will be looking at um, making formulations either solid dosage forms or liquid dosage forms and um, you'll be concerned with um, all the characteristics and attributes of a drug that will impact on whether you can make it into say a tablet into an inhaled product or an injectable or perhaps something uh, a little bit more advanced perhaps a stealthy liposome or something like that that's got specific properties in terms of targeting we have a number of um, excellent academics their, their, their research is very focused on the delivery uh, of, of, of drugs and we're really looking at uh, overcoming um, sort of barriers to, to the delivery of a drug. Many drugs are um, uh, isolated or synthesized based on their, their ability to interact with a biological target. The problem is that those drugs are usually quite hard to get, then get to or deliver to that particular biological target. So they sometimes have very poor solubility, they're sometimes quite unstable. And so during the MSc in Pharmaceutical Technology, you'll be looking at the, uh, at, at the sort of strategies for getting over some of those barriers and delivering that drug to the, uh, to the, to the uh, sort of intended target. Students uh, get uh, quite acquainted with uh, professionals and um, highly qualified scientists who are interested of uh, not only our academic background and future, but also for students as a person. They are close to us and they are easily approachable, um, which is really nice and the environment is really friendly. A lot of international students are here, so we get to mix a lot of different people from different backgrounds. I like um, being here because of this environment and also the well-structured course. Yeah. Our students really have to have a sort of scientific background. A little bit of chemistry is important as well. Quite good in terms of the sort of their skills in mathematics, but we do teach uh, a good sort of sub-module on uh, statistical methods. The graduates that uh, apply uh, to the Pharmaceutical Technology uh, MSc um, usually have an interest in pharmaceutical sciences. Um, they either have been sort of previously uh, studying pharmaceutical sciences or pharmacy. We have a number of um, uh, 
pharmacists that have been qualified in the UK that have enjoyed a couple of years working in community or, or hospital pharmacies but then want to come back and top up their skills and perhaps develop a career more in the pharmaceutical industry rather than sort of the direct interaction with the patients. They tend to end up um, performing quite high up uh, management roles because they've got great skills in terms of worrying about the needs of the patient but also then developing sort of new and novel medicines. I would definitely recommend King's College uh, for a master's degree in pharmaceutical technology. This gives the opportunity to students to choose uh, which field they are interested most and to go on in their lives. If you really uh, have um, the intention and the desire to do it well, I'm sure you will enjoy as what I'm doing now. Yeah.